situated at the crossroads of Europe and Asia and located in the region known as the Caucasus, Georgia lies mostly in the Caucasus Mountains and its northern boundary is partly defined by the Greater Caucasus Range. The Lesser Caucasus Range, which runs parallel to the south, creates natural barriers that are partially responsible for the cultural and linguistic differences in the region. As the historic and geographic divide between Europe and Asia, Georgia was considered the country of strategic importance. The Silk Route passed through these mountains, bringing the world to Georgia's doorstep. During all its nearly 3,000 year history, Georgia has fought against numerous invaders from almost all known empires in the world. It is also known as the country of Kolchida, where, according to ancient Greek myths, Golden Fleece was kept. Its eastern part is usually associated with the glory of the Kingdom of Iberia, reigned by the King Panavas in the 3rd to 4th centuries BC. After accepting Christianity in the 4th century, Georgia was always regarded as the bastion of Christianity in the east and a cradle country of wheat and wine. Tbilisi, the capital of Georgia, has a long and fascinating history. It was founded in the 5th century AD by the Georgian king Vakhtang Gorgasali. In the 11th to 12th centuries, Tbilisi became one of the most important political, economic and cultural centers of the Caucasus and the Middle East. In the summer of 1999, archaeologists made a discovery in Dumnisi that altered a widely accepted view of anthropological history by suggesting that Georgia had been the country of Homo erectus. Not less sensational were the results of the investigations launched in eastern Georgia, during which the remnant of an ancient town was found that dates back to the Bronze Age. This tiny country boasts of exceptional biodiversity. The country's territory is 85% mountainous. The highest point of the Caucasus Mountains chain is 5,000 meters above sea level and is covered with eternal snow. Compared to Western Europe and some Asian countries, almost untouched sections of wildlife are still preserved in Georgia. Bojomi Haragaoli National Park is located in central Georgia and covers around 79,000 hectares that amounts to 1% of Georgia's territory. The park is one of the biggest in Europe. The southwestern border of the park runs along the gorge of the biggest Transcaucasian river at Kavari, where Bojomi, one of the oldest and most beautiful resorts in Georgia, is situated. Borjomi is internationally renowned for its mineral water springs. The National Park Administration and one of the entrances to the park is in Borjomi. The first national park in the Caucasus is formed on the basis of the State Nature Reserve in the Borjomi district that was established in 1935. But in fact, its history starts in 1862 when the brother of the ruling Russian Tsar Mikhail Romanov was appointed Viceroy of the Russian Empire to Transcaucasia. He was greatly impressed by the beauty of the Borjomi Gorge and decided to build a summer residence there. The opening of the residence in 1871 was attended by the Tsar Alexander II himself. Mikhail Romanov fenced a large part of the forest, formed a detachment of armed huntsmen and built small huts inside it. He also brought in Herr Junta, a learned naturalist from Germany, and appointed him chief forester. Those in charge of the forests in Borjomi, Achaldaba and Bakuriani were experienced people, and their efforts produced good results. The number of Caucasian deer, imported squirrels and chamois brought back from the Lagodechi Reserve increased so much that even guests of honor were invited to hunt them. In the first half of the 20th century, 
this place became beloved by the Russian aristocracy for vacations and hunting. The diversity of nature, alongside with the specific historical and socio-economical situation, conditioned the individuality of the local lifestyles and traditional traits. The two districts of Haragaoli and Baghdadi, situated south of the park, belong to the Imereti region and are notorious for their hospitality. Here, guests are greeted with exceptional honour. Parties celebrating the visitor's arrival are usually held. The hosts strive to fulfil the guest's every wish. Wine for these occasions is usually stored in special clay vessels buried in the ground. Home industry here is represented by pottery. Red clay is used for various types of crockery, jugs, wine jars and more. Tone, or the bakery, is widespread in this region, where the most delicious bread is being baked. The locals have preserved a great number of traditions, from beekeeping to cattle rearing. Bojomi Harugali National Park is located in the area of Georgia's historical provinces. These regions have been developing independently for centuries. Consequently, the secular and denominational architecture of the feudal period, along with many common features, has some attributes with local characteristics. Most of the domed buildings here used by the locals in ancient times as their residences are well preserved in the support zone of the park. Nearly all of them are noteworthy for wonderful examples of medieval frescoes. Most of the churches in Tori and Samspe are single nave, aisleless buildings while monasteries are triple church basilicas. The latter is originally Georgian, and Green and Nunisi monasteries are among its unique examples. Saroma Monastery is another distinct example of a domed monument in the support zone of the park. Along with the Chul Monastery, which is under restoration now. One of the most important monuments of the Borjomi district is Timur Tesrubani, built in the 12th century. This brick monument boasts an exceptional pattern of frescoes. Most of the numerous churches, temples, monasteries or cathedrals scattered either in the National Park area or its support zone are linked with early Christianity. According to the legend, Andrew the first called, crossed one of the sections of the forest land, presently the National Park Territory, and erected the Iron Cross on one of the peaks. Even today, the park visitors can meet with the pilgrims here. Due to the great strategic importance of the region, there is a great number of large and small fortified medieval buildings. These fortresses are the only witnesses of the hardships that Georgians had to go through during ancient times. Built on high rocks that are difficult to access, 
the fortresses perfectly match the landscapes. The diversity of Georgia's geographical and climatic conditions has shaped the wealth of a high endemic level of the country's flora. Bojomi Harugali National Park boasts some of the rarest species of flora, while fauna is represented by virtually every animal species, characteristic to the Caucasus, like brown bear, lynx, wild cat, wolf, red deer, and so on. The number of deer in Borjomi Harugali has increased considerably since the establishment of the national park. Vegetation cover of the park territory varies from Kolkhik forests to mixed broad-leaved, dark coniferous and subalpine forests and grasslands with such endemic species as Caucasian salamander and others. Cascades of waterfalls make these breathtaking places even more beautiful. At the altitude of 2,000 meters, in the domain of eagles and other wild birds, alpine meadows and forests display a full spectre of vegetation that is especially spectacular in autumn. potential of Bojomi Haragaoli is substantial. All trails of the park go through the heart of amazing wildlife and spectacular scenery. Overnight accommodation includes tourist shelters and picnic areas, plus simple huts in case of bad weather during short trips. Rangers shelters are situated at the entrance of the park and rangers are on duty for 24 hours. All shelters are equipped with basic furniture and fireplaces. In case of need, it can serve as an overnight accommodation for the tourists. Today there are eight tourist trails officially functioning in Bojomi Haragaoli. All trails are marked and well designed. The trails are of various length, duration and different level of adventure and trips vary widely in terms of physical challenge and required skills. In any case, the visitor is rewarded with breathtaking landscapes and magical moments that are possible only in wilderness. The trails are watched over by Georgia's service and guide team. The village of Sakhflari is the only populated location within the park boundaries, with few permanent settlements. For the rest, this area is the grazing land in summertime. Here, the visitors can share some time with local shepherds and learn more about the ways of making cheese or butter.
This wondrous part of Georgia is always ready to accept guests from all over the world and offers numerous opportunities to explore and take home the true essence of its beauty and hospitality.